the Bedzed estate in Surrey. The houses here have no central heating, no air conditioning. Sedum roofs store rainwater, solar panels provide energy. Dealing with climate change is the most important thing we need to do. Helen Heathfield has lived here for six years. My own feeling is that I'm the one who can do something right here, right now. No one else is going to do it for me. And if I don't do anything, why should anyone else? The reason places like this were built a decade ago is because of repeated warnings from experts about greenhouse gases and global warming. And on Friday, the world's leading climate scientists will give us an update. They're likely to say two fairly contradictory things. First, that they are 95% sure that global warming is happening and that at least half of it is man-made. And second, they will say that the surface temperature of the Earth hasn't gone up hardly at all since 1998. Which leaves the scientists with some explaining to do. Sir John Beddington was chief scientific advisor to the government. He acknowledges some of the more extreme projections of warming are now less likely. The scientific community has come around and say, actually, it may not be going quite as fast as hitherto we might have predicted, but that's the way science operates. Science says, actually, the evidence is going uh, rather differently. But there's no killer fact or anything that is going to be saying, oh, this climate change is nonsense, because it's not. London spots. And Back on the estate, we met Steve and his daughter, April. I'm not a scientist, but in terms of recycling, I mean, I do that. Whether that makes a difference, I, I don't really know. Everyone on this block's got a rooftop garden. Steve has read the reports of a so-called pause in the global temperature, but says in the end, whatever's happening with the climate, there remains a serious question of sustainability. You can't keep having more and more and more of something that's finite, because um, one day it will run out. Scientists say the pause in rising temperatures may have something to do with heat being absorbed by the oceans. But more and more voices are now saying there's a lot about the climate that scientists simply don't understand. And public opinion is becoming more sceptical. 34% of people say the seriousness of climate change has been exaggerated, up 4% on a year ago. And there is the NASA photograph this year of the ice caps. This is the UKIP leader, Nigel Farage, in the European in Parliament. Year. Leading American scientists are now saying we are going into a period of between 15 and 30 years of global cooling. This completely spurious scientific argument is coming out. The scientific evidence points to the fact that, hum that the emissions of greenhouse gases by, the, in, by humanity are actually driving a change in the climate. Many people like Helen have changed their behaviour. Recycling rates, for example, are up. But the pause in the planet's temperature means scientists may have a harder job persuading some of the threat posed by climate change.